In the mythical world of ancient China, a land of legendary monsters, evil witches, and sinister villains, the wise monk Tripitaka and his protector Monkey set out on a treacherous journey in search of the fabled Scrolls of Wisdom. Joined by Pigsy and Sandy, these four companions travel together through this strange and magical world, enduring perilous adventures and dangerous adversaries on their mission for the Emperor and all of China. The Legends of the Monkey King is China's greatest story. It is an expedition unlike any other ever taken. It is the journey to the West. The stony mountains were ablaze. Tripitaka and his companions were unable to continue their westward journey. They needed the Iron Fan Princess's magic palm leaf to put out the fire. So Monkey and the Mountain Spirit were on their way to meet the Princess's husband, Lord Taurus, to seek his help. The Jade Duchess is directly below beside the waterfall. Lord Taurus was visiting the Jade Duchess, his sister, at Waterfall Cave. Monkey and Lord Taurus were old friends, but he did not know the Duchess. Pardon me, uh, are you the sister of the great Lord Taurus? First tell me who it is who wants to know. I'm a dear old friend of your brother's. What's your name? Just tell him Monkey's here. <gasps> the same Monkey who defeated his son, the Scamp? That's right, the very same. You wait here, I'll get my brother. So off she went to fetch her brother, Lord Taurus, who was taking his afternoon tea. <clears throat> Ah, you make a fine cup of tea, little sister. You have a visitor, brother. Uh, that pesky monkey's here, and he uh, wants to see you. Huh? Ah, what nerve after what he did to my dear son. <sighs> it was not going to be the warm reception monkey had hoped for. It seemed the friendship was over. Uh, but monkey had to get that palm leaf. Uh, I need a little favor, friend. Favor? After the way you humiliated my son, the scamp, and drove him from his home? Oh, he's far better off where he is now, with Quan Yin. <laughs> you have some nerve coming here, monkey. I'll make you pay for what you did to my son. Wait a minute. Lord Taurus. Come on, is this how you treat all of your visitors? You know, you're really beginning to irritate me. Big brother. Huh? Don't forget the River King's expecting you at his palace. Oh, well, lucky for you, monkey. If I were you, I'd make myself permanently scarce. You got that? Bye, little sister. Have a safe trip. Monkey watched as Lord Taurus rode off into the sunset. Hmm. Gee. Lord Taurus may have thought he'd scared Monkey off, but Monkey was not scared off that easily. <laughs> Lord Taurus would be getting to the River King's palace a little faster than he planned. <laughs> now that he had his fun, it was time for Monkey to get down to business. Change. <laughs> Transforming himself into a fish, Monkey followed Lord Taurus down to the River King's palace. He was not sure how he was going to convince Lord Taurus to help him. But he had to get that palm leaf. The journey to the west depended on it. Huh? What have you caught, God? Step forward! A trespasser found at the gates. Show no mercy to this delinquent. Throw him into the dungeon and leave him there forever. Please reconsider, Your Majesty. I just swam in here by accident. Come, come. He's just a harmless fish. Why not let him go? <sighs> Fine. You may set the prisoner free. Monkey had to restrain his laughter as he was carried from the throne room. The River King was throwing back a bigger fish than he knew. He swam several leagues from the palace before he dared resume his true form. <laughs> I know just what I'm gonna do. Monkey had come up with a very clever plan. <laughs> the 
This should work perfectly. Time to change! <sighs> there was no time for fooling with complicated knots, so Monkey took the shortcut. In no time at all, he was bounding past the palace and the palace guards. Lord Taurus? Where are you off to in such a hurry? Uh, something urgent to tell the wife. I'm sorry, uh, but I have to be going now. And so away rode Monkey on the back of Lord Taurus' tiger bowl, straight to the Green Valley Cave where the Iron Fan Princess awaited his return. Open up! It's me! Welcome home, Master! We've missed you! It's never the same when you're away. Mm. Mistress, our Lord and Master has returned! Mistress, Lord Taurus has come home! <sighs> I can't tell you how much I've missed you, my dear! Oh, huh? really? Where were you when I needed you? That horrible monkey was here, pestering me for my palm leaf. Oh, my poor darling! That must have been terrible for you. That monkey's uh, a tricky fellow. He didn't get the leaf, did he? Oh, he left here with a leaf, all right. He what? You gave him a leaf? I told you he left with a leaf. A fake uh -huh. one. Give me some credit, dear. <laughs> I love <gasps> teasing you. You're so gullible. Meanwhile, at the River King's palace, the real Lord Taurus was preparing to take his leave. Thank you for your hospitality, my dear friend. We should get together more often, huh? What? Where's my tiger bull gone? I don't understand. Someone looking just like you rode away on him some time oh? ago. It has to be that infernal monkey disguised as me. Taurus, wait! Enraged by Monkey's deception, Lord Taurus swiftly made his way to Green Valley Cave to confront his double. A little tea? Oh, yes. Thank you, <laughs> darling husband. Here's to your cleverness, wife. Cheers. Cheers. It's not just anyone who could pull the wool over Monkey's eyes, you know. But you certainly did. Though we'll have to decide on a plan if he happens to come back here. He's a tenacious little fella. <laughs> oh, really? I'd like to see him try it now that a big, strong man's here to chase him away. Oh, and who would that be? It's uh, you, uh, you big old <laughs> silly head. Oh, well, g gosh, I wish you wouldn't pull my beard. <laughs> well, what do you say we have another cup of this fine tea, my dear? Meanwhile, the real Lord Taurus had run into trouble. Huh? Oh, the great hero! You left your room in a dreadful mess! Uh, I'd love to help you tidy up, little sister, but I'm in an awful rush! Now you just march yourself right back and pick up your filthy clothes! I will! I promise! I just can't do it right now! Crumbs but, uh... and teacups all over the floor! Oh. It's a disgrace! You always wear a big slob! <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Easy, my dear. You don't want me to spill my tea. <laughs> mm, of course not. <laughs> I wonder what the pilgrims would oh. give to get their hands on this. Ah, the palm leaf. It's so small, mm -hmm. though. That's the magic part, darling. Oh, yes, but how can something so tiny put out fires? Uh, tell me how it works, huh? <laughs> Do you want to know what the magic words are? Palm leaf, use your power to grow. That's the only way you could tell the real leaf from one of my fakes. Once you say those words, the leaf will grow to its natural size. Then there's no fire in the world you can't put out with just one mighty sweep. Ah, <laughs> ah you've been very helpful. Thank you, princess. <laughs> oh, goodness. Bye-bye! <laughs> Leaving the Iron Fan Princess to sleep off her shock, Monkey dashed through the halls of the cave and set off to find his waiting companions. You're being unfair, little sister. I've got important things to do. Get in there now and grab a broom or you'll be in big trouble! Oh. Well? Oh. <gasps> oh. Oh. Mm. Ah, it took some doing, but I got what I wanted. <gasps> Palm Leaf, use your power to grow. Now that's more like it. <laughs> oh, uh, I don't know what the words are to shrink it. Well, I'll worry about that later. And on he flew to where the raging fires burned. Meanwhile, the Iron Fan Princess had regained consciousness. Open up, it's me! Open up, I tell you! Don't open it, even though it sounds like Lord Taurus is an imposter! How dare you burn me from my own home! <gasps> What's the meaning of this? Speak up, wife! 
I'm not your wife. You're a monkey. You tricked me. Now calm down. I assure you I'm the real Lord Taurus, my dear. Is it really you, my love? Now tell me what happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The monkey came here disguised as you and took the palm leaf. <laughs> well, he won't get away with it. He's crossed me for the last time. Lord Taurus decided it was time to practice a little deception of his own. Meanwhile, the other three pilgrims waited patiently for Monkey to return. He's been gone far too long. Oh, he probably stopped for a nap. If it were you, I would agree. But that's just not something Monkey would do. I'm afraid he might have met with some trouble. You're taking this pretty calmly, Pixie. I think you should go and look for him. I wouldn't even know where to start looking. Besides, I'd hate to miss my lunch. That is hardly the attitude of a pilgrim. I want you to look for him. I don't know why I have to do all the work. You... Huh? <laughs> the fire's still burning, I see. <gasps> Hasn't Monkey come back yet? There's no sign of him. He's been gone all day. <laughs> and how did you get here so fast? I just saw you at Green Valley Cave. But we've been together all day. Monkey! Monkey! Huh? Well, finally, I spent the whole day looking for you. The master said not to worry that you could take care of yourself, but I thought you might be able to use some help. Well, lots of things did happen to me. But I got the leaf, and that's what counts, Pigsy. <laughs> I sure am happy to see that leaf. So am I. We'll have that fire out in no time. And so it seemed as if their troubles were finally at an end. Monkey had the magic palm leaf and would be able to extinguish the raging fires. But in truth, their troubles were not over yet. Monkey had tricked the Iron Fan Princess into giving him her magic palm leaf which he needed to put out the fires in the Stony Mountains. But now it was Monkey's turn to be tricked. Hey, you know, you've been carrying that leaf for a long time. <laughs> Why not let me take over, old friend? Uh, I can manage, thanks. <laughs> Come on now, you don't have to worry, because I'll hold on real tight and I won't drop it. Looks like lazy old Pigsy's turning over a new leaf. <laughs> <laughs> Palm leaf, use your power to shrink now. I promised you I wouldn't drop it. I never said anything about not stealing it, though. <laughs> huh? Meanwhile, the other pilgrims were growing increasingly worried by Monkey's failure to return. I think it's time we went to find Monkey. Pigsy? No, don't make me go. He won't, but I no. will. And off they went to find Monkey. No, no, wait. You must never fight till you've exhausted all options for peace. Stop, stop it. What is the meaning of this disgraceful display? Huh? The two of you have been old friends for eons, haven't you? Can you not find any way to resolve your differences, Carly? No, he stole the magic palm leaf from me. No, I stole it back after Monkey stole it from my unsuspecting wife. Only after I asked her for it nicely and she refused. She wouldn't let me put out the fire. She started them, you fool. Now I know you two can work this out. <laughs> Pixie's patience had run out. <laughs> The mountain spirit could only stand by and watch helplessly as the former friends battled each other. At long last, Lord Taurus seemed to have had enough. Come back with that leaf, you thief! Lord Taurus needed some help. Oh, sweet little sister, you've got to help me defeat these thieves! First clean up your room, then maybe I'll use my magic calabash. It appeared the house cleaning would have to wait. It was time to use the magic calabash. 
The calabash had done its work. <laughs> Sneezing powder, that was clever. Now wipe that sappy smile off your face and go clean up the mess in your room. Oh, come on, you know I've got a bad back. Let me off just this one time. <laughs> Not a chance. Oh, little sister, come on, please. If you don't get that palm leaf back, the fire in the Stony Mountains will destroy the countryside. Sorry, Mountain Spirit, but we're licked. There's no denying that. We'll just have to abandon our pilgrimage and go our separate ways now. How can you ever expect to overcome difficulties in life with such a poor-spirited attitude? He's absolutely right, and I'm telling you, we'll get that leaf back by hook or crook. House cleaning did not seem to agree with Lord Taurus. I can't understand how you can fight for hours, but sweeping does you in. Mm. I told you I had a bad back, but would you listen? <gasps> Open that door! Uh? What's it gonna take to get rid of those nincompoops? Go away! Open this door now, or we'll have no choice but to break it down! <laughs> oh no! Fetch me the sneezing powder! Hurry! What are you waiting for? Move it! What do I look like? Your servant girl? Oh! Out of the way, you bastard! All he had to do was open the door, and now he's getting away with the leaf. Yeah, you're right. Huh? Pigsy, you stay here and keep a close eye on the Jade Duchess. I'll go after Lord Taurus. Lord Taurus had gone straight back to his wife in Green Valley Cave. Oh, husband, is it you? I've been so worried. Oh. I tell you, Monkey's not an adversary to be trifled with. Does he still have the palm leaf, my love? Oh. <laughs> the answer to that is no, dear. I outsmarted him and got it back, but guard it well, because I don't want it to fall in his hands again. Don't you worry. Now, please tell me you're going to stay home for a while. Unfortunately for Lord Taurus, Monkey was not ready to give up yet. I've come for the palm leaf, and I won't take no for an answer! Again? You stay here while I take care of this ruffian once and for all. Clear off, monkey. I'll never give it to you. The battle was not going well for Lord Taurus. It was apparent he would have to change tactics. Turning himself into a swan, he fled the field. But two could play at that game. Monkey transformed himself into a hawk, and the chase was on. The great bird of prey pursued his quarry deep into the forest. But when he landed, the swan was nowhere to be seen. <laughs> Give it up! I'm much too strong for you. From now on, you'll do as I tell you. I want you to go back to your friends and tell them the pilgrimage is over. There'll be no books of wisdom for you. <laughs> huh? Nice carrot. Is that your lunch? Mm -hmm. <laughs> huh? uh -oh. <laughs> Sometimes, the smaller of two opponents can turn his size into a definite advantage. <gasps> hmm. ah. <laughs> How's the view up there?
But Lord Taurus was not finished yet. Looks like your wild side's coming out! But I'm gonna tame you, Lord Taurus! <laughs> All right, I give up. You're the undisputed master. You get no more trouble from me. Hmm. Well, I need a little insurance. <laughs> monkey! Hey, monkey! The Jade Duchess made me a pie just for helping her sweep up. Here, hold this while I go talk to the Iron Fan Princess. And she promised to go easy on this sneezing powder from now on. Once again, Monkey stood before the door of Green Valley Cave. Huh? Oh, <laughs> Princess, I've come to see if you've changed your mind about lending me the palm leaf. I'll never change my mind. You showed no mercy to my son, the Scarlet Scamp, driving him from his mountain stronghold and breaking his will. No, that cannot be forgiven. But your son is so much happier with Quan Yin and... Huh? Your son, oh. Princess. Oh, my boy! Mama! Oh, you must tell me the truth. Have you been unhappy since you were driven from your cave? I like living with Quan Yin, but I'd much rather live with you. Oh. The Iron Fan Princess no longer had any reason to withhold the palm leaf. Monkey, forgive me. I was wrong. Please take the palm leaf with my blessing and put out the stony mountain fires before it's too late. Everyone rushed to the burning mountains, where Tripitaka and Sandy had been waiting so patiently. Because the leaf was being used for a good cause, its powers were increased a hundredfold. The whirlwind from the fan blew the fire this way and that, and a mighty bank of clouds gathered overhead. The wind began to herd the flames together, so they could not break free. As the rain began to fall, the raging flames began to sputter and die and the rocks and the air grew cool and moist. As the smoke cleared and the clouds began to drift away, a rainbow could be seen to cast its brilliant hues over the scorched and blackened mountains. Finally! Thank you for lending me your magic palm leaf, Princess. I'm sorry you had to struggle so hard to get it. I promise to try to be more reasonable in the future. Ah. Uh. <laughs> And don't set any more fires, please. <laughs> Farewell. Thank you, Princess. Monkey had put out the great fire and helped to reunite the Scarlet Scamp with his parents. At long last, our four friends were able to resume their westward journey in search of the Books of Wisdom. <laughs>